जिन्होंने भी इस हमले को अंजाम दिया है उन्हें हम सागर तल से भी ढूंढ निकालेंगे और उनके खिलाफ कठोर कार्रवाई की जाएगी द इंडियन डिफेंस मिनिस्टर वॉज रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू अटैक्स ऑन ट्रेड वेसल्स प्लाइंग ऑन द रेड सी वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बिजिएस्ट शिपिंग रूट्स India's maritime forces are braving through adversaries with their latest missile destroyers and reconnaissance assets to secure the region along with international players. But which groups are behind these incessant attacks? Is India ready for a maritime conflict in the Red Sea? I'm Shivan Channa. This is India's Red Sea game plan. Nearly 80% of maritime trade takes place through this route. It connects with the Arabian Sea, which India guards with its missile destroyers and warships. The Indian Navy has deployed its state-of-the-art maritime military assets to secure the region. Houthis, an Iran-backed militia based in Yemen, have taken responsibility for the recent attacks in the Red Sea. They were acting on a pledge to target all vessels traveling towards Israel until Israel stops its military operation on Gaza in the wake of the October 7th Hamas terror attack. Now, among the vessels that were attacked, some had Indian nationals on board as well. The US has accused Iran of being behind these attacks, a charge Tehran vehemently denies. When it comes to the Red Sea, Somali pirates are also known to hijack ships in the region. The Indian Navy has been safeguarding the region. It is among first responders to cases of hijackings and attacks. On December 16th, a Malta flagged vessel MV Ruin with 18 crew was hijacked by Somali pirates. India was the first to respond to their Mayday message leading to a Red Sea Protection Squadron. INS Kochi was diverted towards the hijacked vessel rescuing an injured crew member from the ship. On December 24th, a Gabon flagged commercial oil tanker named MV Sai Baba on its way to India with a crew of 25 Indians came under a Houthi drone attack in the Southern Red Sea. Just a day prior to that, MV Kem Pluto, an India-bound oil tanker ferrying crude oil from Saudi Arabia to Mangalore with 22 crew out of which 21 were Indians was struck by a drone in the Arabian Sea about 200 kilometers southwest of Veravel Gujarat coast the indian navy directed one of its latest missile destroyers to secure the vessel and bring it to safety india's military assets in the arabian sea indian ocean and red sea are a force to reckon with India has positioned its deadly indigenous guided missile destroyers in the conflict hit region. INS Mormugao, the ship has enhanced stealth features and is equipped to fight under nuclear, biological and chemical warfare conditions. INS Kochi, which is one of the most potent surface combatants that have been constructed in India. The ship has a complement of 40 officers and 350 sailors. INS Kolkata, which is armed with an array of modern weapons and sensors which can address threats in all three dimensions. Regular sorties are also conducted in the region by India's P8I, a long-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft. India's Western Naval Command's Maritime Operations Center is also actively monitoring the Red Sea in close coordination with India's Coast Guard and all concerned agencies. India recently also launched the INS Imphal, which is equipped with the BrahMos missile, torpedo tube launchers with a rapid gun mount and medium-range missiles. It is aimed at boosting India's might to safeguard the Indian Ocean region. You see, India is clear on its course of action in the Red Sea. It will find those responsible and bring them to justice. India does not aim to be involved in a maritime conflict. but with its military might and naval assets india is leaving no stone unturned in its deterrence efforts india had provided intelligence warning the world of increased maritime attacks expected in the red sea region for now india stands on guard and ready but will not hesitate to fire if provoked